Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Mani Text Guru. It is the continuation video of the knit fabric structure analysis of a single jersey. So in this video, we are going to learn about the knit fabric structure analysis of a single tuck PQ fabric. Uh, as usual, before we start our structure analysis, we need to follow our thumb rule by marking the vertical line after removing all the loose and thread. Let's start the unraveling the course number one while unraveling course number one we are finding the complete loop is getting unraveled from the previously knitted loop so we can mark the course number one we can notify the course number one as knit 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 so now we can move on to course number before unraveling the course number two we can see there is a half moon structure which is new for us in the previous single jersey video and even in the uh, previous course number one we have seen the complete loop is getting unraveled from the previously knitted loop whereas here you can see there is a half moon structure everywhere i mean one uh, uh, every alternate needle there is a half moon loop this is called tuck it will lie just over the previously knitted loop. It will not form any loop with the previously knitted loop. So this we call it as tuck. Let's start unraveling course number two. You can see after vertical line, I am finding tuck followed by knit, tuck followed by knit, tuck followed by knit. So we can notify the course number two as tuck knit tuck knit okay now let's move on to course number three in course number three we can find the complete loop is getting unraveled from the previously knitted loop every knitting every needle which is knitted with loop knit loop only so we can notify the course number three as knit 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 so let's move on to course number four <clears throat> even here we can find the half moon structure but in different needle you can see there is a half moon structure everywhere every for every alternate needle there is a half moon structure Okay, let's try, let's unravel what difference we are finding from course number two. Let's analyze now. After the vertical line, we are finding in the course number two, we found tuck with tuck followed by knit. Here, knit followed by tuck. It is there. Knit, tuck, knit, tuck. So that is the difference between course number two and four. Now we are, can mark it as knit tuck knit tuck in this actually since i know the four single tuck pq is a four course repeat i have stopped unraveling uh, i mean stopped uh, analyzing only just by limited to four courses whoever are learning to learning for the learning of uh, knit fabric structures please unravel at least four to i mean 10 to 10 to 15 courses so that you can uh, get the uh, final repeat very clear maybe see actually the problem is during whoever are freshers while unraveling they can make some mistakes uh, understanding the tuck as knit, knit knit as tuck so just to avoid uh, issues please unravel more number of courses and you can find there is a repeat you can finally finalize this is the repeat for uh, single tuck pq or double tuck pq triple tuck pq whatever may be the structure you are analyzing for even in this actually it is not a four by four actually structure actually this is the repeat if you place this repeat adjacently you can find it is getting repeated actually knit knit course number two tuck knit course number three again knit knit course number four tuck knit only this tuck knit is getting interchanged here i hope this video is very useful and informative thanks for watching see you all in the next video till then bye from your money text guru bye bye